Those include stories out of Chesterfield Township, Rochester Hills, and Canton Township, but let's begin in Pontiac. That's where Oakland County Sheriff's deputies made a drug bust one year in the making. It started with a bust at a nondescript Pontiac warehouse, which netted 413 pounds of marijuana. That bust led to warrants for homes in Royal Oak, Independence Township, and Brandon Township. Three Oakland County men have been charged. Each is facing multiple felonies. There was a complete investigation to determine if other people were involved, if there was any interstate activity, other kinds of potential implications that may or may not have been going on. The sheriff characterized it as a significant growing processing and packaging operation. Even though recreational pot is now legal in Michigan, police say what is alleged to have been happening at that Pontiac warehouse was completely illegal. A former Northville firefighter is now behind bars on accusations that he used a helicopter and a firearm to stalk a woman in Canton. Patrick Nolan is charged with aggravated stalking. According to police, Nolan has a long list of violations against the victim, including a personal protection order violation. State officials want the pension of a Rochester Hills man convicted of shooting a teen who was on his porch asking for directions. Jeffrey Ziegler was caught on video camera shooting at Brennan Walker last April, his own home security. He's going to serve at least the next four years behind bars. The state is seeking part, if not all, of his $4,000 a month pension to help pay for his stay. This under a state act stating the attorney general can see reimbursement when they believe there is good cause. This is something most Michiganders were probably unaware of and don't like. I think it's wrong. That's why I pay taxes. Whether it's to the state, to the county, wherever, that, that's, they should be operating on a budget. A judge is expected to soon rule on the state's request. If approved, Ziegler's wife would be left with about $308, $308 a month. In Chesterfield Township, an underwear bandit is on the loose after taking nearly $300 worth of boxer briefs. Here's the photo taken Monday at the Meyer on 23 Mile near Gratiot. Police say he stuffed dozens of pairs of Adidas boxers into a $50 backpack and then left the store without paying for a single thing. Uh, it's a pretty clear picture, I'm sure, though. Very clear. I'm quite certain that he's being recognized.